<coughs> What's up, everybody? The I'm back with another video. As you see, we are back with the action game teams, and we're going to get to Green Sad Origin Story. So let's get into this. He's on the green, is chasing, is chasing her. Of surviving. <laughs> I don't think she got she she got all the way from green values. <laughs> To get to know me more, I suppose as new friends, I tell you a bit about myself. Come on, guys, please let me out. <laughs> oh, he was bullied. Hmm. It all started. I guess that's how. That's how we got me, and turned to, and been the evil. But how do you really turn? Turn, oh, oh yeah, into a monster. Started in high school. I may not have been a monster then, but I had plenty of them <laughs> to deal with. The other kids picked on me for my height, calling me names like Beanpole. I tried to go to the principal, but they weren't any help. Oh, okay. That's great. It only made things worse. My parents turned a blind eye to my problems, too. They figured, due to my size... Why was he short? Why is he short? Why is the dad short? The mom told. That I was just... Overreacting! But I couldn't take it anymore! I screamed, and I cried every night! It got so bad, that my parents made me see a therapist. She even gave me a stress ball. She told me that whenever I felt sad, or lonely, or mad, that I should just give it a big squeeze. They made fun of me for that too! Oh great, so everything that he has, they find a way to make fun of it. Make fun of him having it. Sup, toothpick? Gross, he farted. <laughs> I didn't! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now I can see what Carl means by... By why he's... By how he's... Not being a jerk. These are what are really jerks. These are jerks. Not Carl. <laughs> In that moment, the monster inside took over! And suddenly, my size didn't seem so funny anymore. The faculty broke us up before things got too bad. But still, they knew now not to mess with me anymore. At least in high school. Many of us ended up going to the same local community college, and they actually started to be friendly to me. Apparently, I had earned their respect, but that- Yeah, I don't think so. That too, was all just a trick. Yes. One day they invited me somewhere, out on the outskirts of town, called the Rainbow Friends Play Place. I had heard about it before, but I only knew that it was some kind of kid's birthday party venue, with dumb mascots. Still, if they wanted to go, I wasn't about to question it. Me and my new friends loaded up in a car and I like how he said fr I like he said friends. <laughs> we're off, though something seemed fishy about the trip from the start. When we finally got to the play place, 
It looked like it was closed, abandoned even, and it didn't take long before I understood what we were really doing there. All right, Stretch. These guys lock all the windows and doors on the first floor real tight, which is why you're gonna reach right up there and open that one. But, but that's wrong. Come on, man. I thought you were cool. I, okay. I did as they asked and had no problem breaking in. It was eerie in there, but I wasn't about to let my new friends down. Ha <laughs> ha! What I tell ya? The Jolly Green Giant was useful for something after all. Before I had a chance to argue, we heard a terrible noise echo off the walls. Wh what? What was that? Nothing. It was probably just the wind, right? Y yeah, the wind. I was scared. More scared than I'd ever been in my entire life. Put that stupid thing away. You don't want us to get caught, do you? Now spread out. This place has got to have a safe somewhere. My parents took me here as a kid. The owner must have made bank. Oh, oh, now I can see what they're doing. They're robbing the place. They're committing crime. Oh my goodness. They were trying to rob the place. It was not long before they realized that Rainbow Friends Play Place had the strongest security system around. <laughs> I have a question. If it's abandoned, why will have the strongest security system around? No, not that face. I hate that face. Uh... Nothing here. And you're dead. No! I made a oh, friend. Jeez, don't sneak up on me like that, beanpole. Listen, I think we should get out of here, man. Whatever you're after, it's not worth it. Ha, <laughs> I knew you were just a big scaredy cat. There's nothing- Yeah, blue's right behind you. In here but you and me. Uh, uh, and blue. Look, look behind you! Huh? Uh, yeah, he's dead. I ran as fast as I could. I kept running and running until I made my way to Odd World. High up above on the pier, people were having fun. Meanwhile, I was far below, running madly for my life from a monster that defied all reason. My leg. My leg! <laughs> it's, a, it's a, my leg! It's my eyes! <laughs> but seriously, I think that's how. I actually think that's how I got blinded. The entire world went dark. No one found me until the next morning. I was rushed to the hospital, but there was nothing they could do for me. I was permanently blinded. All because I sacrificed my values and tried to fit in with those morons. Everyone came to see me, though I couldn't see them. The school staff who allowed me to be treated this way. The therapist who suggested a placebo. My parents who paid me no mind until it was too late. All the other kids who stood by and watched my torment. But not my tormentors themselves. No. I knew they would never be heard from again. I smiled to myself at that thought, but my happiness quickly turned to shame. I turned everyone away. I didn't want any visitors. That didn't stop him from getting in, though. Hello, my friend. How are you feeling? Who are you? I told the staff no visitors. Ah, but I am not just any visitor. I am here on behalf of a very prestigious law firm. They say you have a real case against Oddworld. Why not give it a try? Don't you want to make those who wronged you hurt? Those who wronged me? There's too many of them to count. All right, then. Let's do this. Good. I can see your passion. Come with me. I will introduce you to my team. They will take care of you. They... I'm pretty sure it's just blue right now. 
unbeknownst to me, the man led me straight back to the Rainbow Friends play place. And that's where that, that, that thing came in. Though I only realized once it was too late. Just stand that, please. My associate will help get you strapped in. Emergency blue. Strapped in? Indeed. Now hold still. Blue? Yep, it's blue. Wait, I know that sound. It's that monster. What's going on? No! No! Come now. This will only hurt a bit. Please! Let me go! I was the second rainbow friend. He called me Green, which I liked more than Beanpole. While he could not cure my blindness, he provided me with what I always wanted. Friends. Real friends. And soon, he became my friend too. Yeah, as Red. So, what do you think? That's so awful. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for what happened to you. Sorry? Sorry? Weren't you paying- Yeah, I think he's happy as this. Paying any attention? I love it here. And you will too. What? What do you say? Won't you be my friend? Well, she's dead. <laughs> Yeah, she's telling us to buy a V7. <laughs> Anyways, guys, this coming in days will hope you enjoy and goodbye.